Hey guys, and welcome to my eighth recorded Blitz Scrabble match against top player Joey Malik. It's been a while since Joey and I have had a match that's gone up on my channel, so very excited for this one. As usual, we'll be doing a best of 11 match, three minute games, no overtime, and it's been a while, so I'm sure we're both going to be very eager for a good performance, so it's sure to be a lot of fun, and games begin right now. Alrighty guys, we are underway. It looks like Joey is going to go first in our opening game. I have a blank. I don't think I have any bingos here. I have youth, oh blank. I think I'll just play Vaunty and youth over here. That looks pretty good. Yeah, Vaunty is just a adjective that doesn't compare. Vauntier is no good. Vaunty can also be spelled V-A-U-N-T-I-E. Okay, certainly bingoing here. Um, obstinate does fit, but it's not a double-double. Um, I feel like I've got to have something cool here. A tonable. I guess I'll just do a tonable. It's a double double. If there's something through the TI, it's four more points, but I don't see it and I don't want to spend too much time on it. If there's something through the HE, that would have been pretty cool as well. There might have been almost like H bone or something, but I didn't see it. Okay, he plays Vakil. I guess I'll just play Zill. That looks pretty good. I have Tiz, but not much else with it. Yeah, I think just Zill looks fine. 39 points blocks a little bit. Okay, get two eyes, which is not ideal, but I should have some options here. If I get an N, I'll have Reagenic. He plays Easiness. Wow, three S's he bingos with. Okay, uh, what do I want to do? Maybe just Cigar on the top left over here to score a little bit. I think that looks fine. All right, I'm up a little bit, not up a ton. What do I have here now? Probably try to play Defy or Fade or something like that. I'd like to get rid of the F, one of my E's, and probably a couple other tiles. I could also just play Kef over here. That's actually probably fine. 33 points. Get sort of EF. Yeah, I'll probably play Kef if it stays open. It also blocks Kex for a lot of points, which is probably a good thing. He plays Swim. Hmm, I might want to play on the right now, though, with if. We'll see. I guess I don't have all that much. I could play Fade. I think I'll just stick with Kef. I have the D still for that spot if I want to use it next turn. He plays Ahi. Okay, so now maybe just Dip looks reasonable. Keeps Date, which is a very good leaf. I could also play something with The. But I don't have all that much there now. Tide is not particularly great. So yeah, I think I'll just play Dip. Wow, three Ds now. Goodness, so I'm glad I got rid of one of my Ds, or else I would have had four Ds. So yeah, probably just Axed now on the top right, I guess. It's a lot of points. Obviously, TDD, not the best leave, but it's 40 points. 42, actually. So that's probably going to be worth it. He plays Fog. Yeah, I think Axed is kind of forced here. And, all right, at least I got a couple of vowels. It's still a bit of a clunky rack. Probably play Told and The on my next play. I'm up a bit. I'm up 63. So as long as... All right, well, I was going to say as long as he doesn't bingo, but he does bingo with Dioptric. Yeah, it's Dioptric, Tripodic, and Diprotic. And I'll play Told. He has a lead, but it's not a very large lead, just one point. And let's see, am I going to be able to score here? Let's see, he plays Meow. Wait, he played Tim. That's uh, that's not good. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's a uh, lucky break for me there. Wow, okay. Um, oh, wait, isn't Bouldery good? I think Bouldery is good. Pretty sure. Hope I'm not mistaken about that. Hopefully I didn't just phony back, but I'm pretty sure this is valid. Yeah, so definitely a costly mistake there for Joey playing Tim. Yes, yeah, Stim, S-T-I-M, is getting added in the new update, which will be in force in just a couple of weeks. But Tim is still not a valid word. There's probably some folks named Tim who are watching this video. So for all the Tims who are watching, Joey just gave you a shout out. So there you go. Um, okay, so what am I going to do here? Just drop the Q, I guess, probably. I mean, I could also block the C on the top left. But it's pretty good, tough for him to bingo, I think, with what's in the pool. So I'll just go ahead and drop the Q. Now I have Insulate, if that stays open. 
I have Edelon's toll lanes on my rack, but neither of those are going to play as far as I can tell. Yeah, Insulate could give back Bingo's out on the A column, which would score, but they're not going to score a ton. There aren't any big scoring tiles left, and I should be up enough to withstand that. Okay, he plays Urge, so I'll just play Edelon's and Surge. Yeah, that's not a bad play by him hoping to draw the S there. I mean, if he didn't try to make something happen, then he didn't really have much of a chance there, so definitely a reasonable effort, but I, of course, had the S, so... That's going to be GG. I'll take game one here as long as I just uh, go out. I guess I'm going to get a few more playing over here. Not that it really matters. Okay, so that was a uh, pretty interesting game. Yeah, until he played Tim, it really could have gone either way. But let's see. Oh, I forgot about out vaunt. Yeah, it's a mistake to start things off. I just didn't even... Uh, didn't even see it. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, I've missed it before, too. It's, uh, when, when someone opens with Avant, you always want to keep in mind the out extension. There's also the front A hook for Avant, but yeah, it's clearly a better play. It's nine more points. Uh, HOY blank is actually a really good leave because the H and the Y can score really well if you don't bingo, and there's a bunch of low prop eights that have an H and a Y. All right, doesn't look like I missed anything here. Yeah, obstinate I saw, but isn't a double double. Atonable looks best by a mile. Maybe cause, yeah, that's fine. I mean, AGILR, the thing is, this does bingo probably more often than Crag, but when I don't bingo, it's just very, very awkward. I'm probably not scoring much. I think Zill is fine. Easiness or saneness for Joey. Wow, well, yeah, two different bingos with all of those S's. This might be a little bit better playing Erica. It's three more points. It keeps the G, though, which is kind of clunky. And yeah, after this, it looks like he just was dealing with a bunch of clunky tiles. I missed aided. Yeah, I saw a swim, I just don't think maybe I saw it on this turn, but dip is still perfectly fine here, I think. Yeah, and then this was the real turning point, guys, where he plays Meow with Tim. Yeah, if he just plays Worm here, then I don't bingo through the L, and uh, yeah, it's a whole different game. But all right, let's let's uh, let's move on. Gotta take the breaks you can get in, in this game, that's for sure. All right, I'm just going to play QI immediately here, not much else to really consider. No U for Equizetta. And yeah, clearly better than Cot. Cot's two more points, but keeps three vowels and just one consonant. Always better to keep three vowels and two consonants if you can. Not a great draw. An R, which I'm not going to get, would have given me Radifees. Probably just Fa here, I think. I could play Feta, but that gives him more back. Especially if they play like All, which signals a pretty good bingo leave. I think I like this. It really makes it tough for him to bingo, actually. I have Pectase. I'm not even sure it plays. Yeah, because Awa doesn't take an S. AI obviously takes a lot of things, but if he bingo's there, he's not going to score very much. Takes a front R as well. So we'll see what he comes up with here. Hopefully he gives me a spot for pale... F or I almost have pale faces, actually, through this FA, too, or type faces. But yeah, peck taste is what I'm hoping to get down, which I will now. I'll play it with Boas. Looks like the best scoring spot. And that is a dreadful post-bingo draw, though. CDDGLTV. So, guess I'll play Veld if this E stays open. I mean, CDGT, not a great leave, but for 20 points, that's probably worth it. If that is not open, then I probably need to trade here. Yeah, he plays Redenize. Uh, I mean, I don't want to trade here, but I feel like I got to. I mean, how can I? I can't even really get rid of more than two tiles here. So, yeah, let's trade down to maybe just a D. I mean, I feel like I should keep one of these tiles just to ensure some... Balance, yeah, let's keep a D. Okay, that's a little bit better. Obviously, WU is a bit clunky. He plays Bite. I might just play Wood, because Rides is such a good leave. Probably better to play Wide, though. I mean, 15 does seem like a lot to give up. I don't know, it's close. I mean, Rides is a much stronger leave than Sure. 8 versus 24. Yeah, it seems like a little bit too much. Let's play wide. I don't I don't know. I don't want to give up 16 points. Yeah, I don't think I have a bingo here, unfortunately. There's no sevens. Uh, anything now? Neurosal alurons don't fit. There's nothing through an I, nothing through an E or an R, I think. Wow, I think I don't have a bingo here. It feels like I should. Certainly feels like I should, but I don't believe I do. So, alright. Yeah, this is kind of tough, because now I just have all these one-pointers. 
I think I'm I'm gonna play Lunar. I want to block a little bit on the top. I could have fished. Maybe I should have fished, but I don't know. I'd rather just score a little bit. And I get the X, which is good. Now I'll just play Vox immediately. Nice easy turn there. I was getting a little low on time, so an easy turn is definitely welcome. A little short on vowels now. Probably try to play Kept or something if I can. Maybe just Cat over here, 15. Okay, he plays Ruli. I could play Unkept. It's a little risky with two blanks. Tunket setting up the S. Oh, I have Truly also. Wow, a lot of options here, actually. Um, interesting. Yeah, a lot of... I might just stick to Cat and try to bingo with Truly, actually. Maybe that's the best play. Just sort of ignore what he did. I think I'm going to do that, actually. Yeah, it's a little counterintuitive, but I think it's a good play. Now I draw Piniest, Pinites, Tie Pins, so I'll be bingoing. I have bingos with Truly. I also have Tet and Tie Pins if I need to. There's also Tie Pins... On the K column right here as well. It looks like the best play if it stays open, but we will see. He's thinking for a little bit here. We're both down to about a minute, and okay, he gets down tattoo, so he takes a lead, but it's going to be short lived because I'll be bingoing here. Uh, nothing plays above the T, so I think I gotta just bingo here like I originally planned. Oh, I get the other blank, which is certainly good. Probably just. Glove or Clove, if that stays open, which it probably won't. I would imagine he's going to go there. And if he... Wow, trade four. Goodness, that's a lucky break for me. Uh, glove or Clove? I mean, I think Clove. Six more points is probably worth it. Like, the G is obviously worse. And wow, I probably just got a bunch of what Joey threw back. I still think, though, for six points, it's probably better to keep the G instead of the C. I hope I didn't miss a bingo there. I didn't really look, but I don't think so. Yeah, I'm down to about 30 seconds. So is Joey. I'll just play Jog, I think, if that stays open. Actually, I'm going to burn my blank now and play Jugum for 47. That should put this outside, outside of reach, even if he bingos. I think that's got to be worth it. Yeah, he plays if. All right, let me just make sure I don't... Do anything stupid here. Let's just play Z to block that W and score. Yeah, I mean, now, again, even if he bingos, I'm up 120 plus points. Like, it's just not going to be enough. Even if I end up having no vowels, it doesn't really matter because he just doesn't have any path to victory here, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, he, he plays A. That's actually a good play, setting up KO. Thankfully, I have an O, so I can just block that easily. Yeah, he would have actually, well, Hongid wouldn't have played, but he does have Hongid on his rack plays hinged, uh, I'll just, I don't know if I have an out, I'll just play drug here, it doesn't really matter all that much, and alright, yeah, let's see in this game, I felt like I played pretty well, but definitely some interesting turns, yeah, so he decides to just keep it tight with awe, that probably makes sense, none of these plays are particularly good, yeah, I was terrible putting the A next to the triple there, you could play swab, but you're burning your S and just blowing up your rack, yeah, I like Fa keeping it a bit tighter, aerobes does not play, see, and this is why you play Fa here, guys, because if I had played like Fade or Fedder or anything else I was considering, he would have played Arabs. Yeah, see, that's exactly why. That's ex literally exactly why I played Fa. I mean, just because I knew he was very close to a bingo, and I'm still keeping a very good leave, and it ended up working out well, because I was also close to a bingo, and he opened, and I was able to strike first. Yeah, have to trade here. He didn't exactly have a good rack either. And then, yeah, he has six vowels. Okay, maybe... Oh, yeah, Ulan is better. I didn't come up with that. Yeah, I only saw the R-hook on wide for some reason. Uh, yeah, definitely better play. I mean, the, the ERS is so powerful together. For only two points, definitely worth it to keep the R. So slight oversight there on my part, but nothing major. Yeah, unkept. I, with two blanks left, guys, I really didn't want to do that. I have a lead. Cod keeps a great leave. Seems fine. And then, yeah, Clove looks good. Yeah, Jugum. And then at, the, at this point, that's uh, that's pretty much that. There's just, uh, oh, I missed Gorm there. But yeah, there's really just no way for Joey to come back. So, all right, pretty clean game there. Take a 2-0 lead, but still obviously very early in the series, so a lot can still happen, and we will see what happens in game three. So, ooh, interesting rack here. All tonight, if I get an I or an E. Anything else? Auto-tune is not good. Uh, oh, Alvant! No way! That's insane! I actually just 
drew out Vaunt after we were talking about it in game one. That's insane, guys. I almost just missed it again. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, he even goes with Tinamu's, I guess, Avigator. Eh, 60, maybe Agitator. Actually, I think Avigator is probably fine because at least block the S in Tinamu's. It forces him to have an S as well to hit that. I could have played Agitator through the T for about the same score, but it's like giving back an S hood versus blocking a big bingo line to the S. I think I'd rather actually block the bingo line. As Joey points out, I did learn. Wow, that would have been embarrassing if I missed that. I almost missed it. It took me like 30 seconds almost to see it. Wow. All right, he plays boy. I guess I'll just play faxes. I mean, it's like 50 points. Uh, I mean, yeah, probably. It's not the most exciting play, but sometimes the best plays are not the most exciting or interesting plays, and you just got to kind of brute force it. Just don't really think there was anything better. Faxes and Jows was actually also a lot of points, but there wasn't... I mean, there's XU on the bottom right, but there was no good way to overlap. There just weren't a lot of places to score with my X, I don't think, without using the S. All right, uh, what do I have here? Like, D-Center or something? Uh, not quite. Hey, guys, apologies for that. The recording glitched, and we missed a couple turns here. I'm still in the lead... No bingos have been played. He played Ickier at some point to open a new line. I played Rep. I'm just going to play Za over here, try to hold on to my lead. I'm up by 100, so even if he bingos ones, I should, I think, be able to hold on, hopefully, and win this game. But we will see. Definitely struggling a little bit with Vals. All right, he does get a bingo down with Miss Liv. So what do I want to do? Do I just play Mirth? Probably. The pool is not particularly good. I could also play Moth, but I don't really want to give back the M. Yeah, I think Mirth looks fine. Get the Q, which is not ideal, but I do have Cot at least to the Teen Out Vaunt, which disposes of the Q and scores. I think I'm going to just do that, and hopefully he doesn't have a bingo. I guess he could have Overboil. If he does, I'm possibly in some trouble. Well, definitely in some trouble, but if he doesn't have that, I think I'm fine. He might fish for it. It's actually pretty tough for me to block, but I can just play, like, Moo and block it. And, oh, Overbill. That's good, too, isn't it? Shoot. Yeah, I think Overbill is good. Um, all right, I think I can just play Oot, actually, and block. Yeah, I think I can just play Oot. And I'm up 53. Like, I have garbage, but I think being up 53, I'll have enough to hold on. I have Weld. With Jowl, that's a lot of points. He can go there. He may be able to actually make this close if he sees that spot and goes there to block me from playing it. Ooh, wow, that's a good play. But I should still have enough. Because now the problem is he's got BLR. And he probably can't play out either. We're both down to 10 seconds. Plays Rib, I'll just play Rent. And, I mean, yeah, he'll go out, but not for enough. Okay, yeah, good game. 440 to 401. And the apologies again, guys, for the glitch in the recording there. I'll show you what happened in those intermediate turns when we go through the analysis. And, yeah, out vaunt only bingo. <laughs> That's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, Faxes looks pretty good. And, yeah, I, I played Seared. I think this is about where I cut off. But, yeah, I played Seared ultimately instead of Creed because Creed takes a front S for Screed, and that felt like it was going to be very annoying to block. And I just didn't want to create that long-term liability. So, yeah, here... Oh, I missed... Oh, I forgot about Navigators. Yeah, that would have been a little bit better. Need is also fine, though, to take out that E and the save an E on my rack. And a terrible draw for Joey here, as he points out. He plays O, playing off EAU, and draws EII, so... Pretty tough. And then, oh no, yeah, he misses Ice Wings through this end. Yeah, that would have been a real game changer. I mean, going from this terrible looking rack here, three sets of duplicates, double E, double I, double S to bingoing. Yeah, that would have been a very big swing. But, uh, but yeah, here I had no vowels. I managed to find Gunji here to clear off my rack a little bit. And then yeah, he was just dealing with a bunch of garbage. I think this is where I came back to the recording. Yeah, Zal looks fine. And, uh, and yeah, at this point, like I said, as long as I avoid... Now, bingo, which I did, uh, stopping overbill, then I'm in pretty good shape. So, alrighty, let's go ahead and get the next one underway. Good start for us, 3-0, but it is still early, and that is a poor rack to start things off. I'm going to just go ahead and trade 5, and I get realized now, so very 
fortunate trade, but he gets outcome, so guess just realize an outcome. I could play Measlier as well. I think I'll, eh, realize is pretty risky. I think I'll go with Measlier. I don't really want to put the RE next to the triple over there on the top right. This does open an R, but at least I put the R on the double underscore, which means it's going to be a little bit less dangerous in the triple-triple line than if I had put the R not on the double order score, because now at least he can't put another high point tile there. All right, Diocesan, he bingos again. I guess I'll just play Kino over here, which is fine. And not a great draw here. I don't think I have any bingos, and he's probably going to score pretty well on the bottom, I would imagine. So a bit of a rough start so far, but it's still early. Just Owl probably to block that spot and score this leave. I should have a decent chance to bingo if I can draw well, which I do. I draw very well. I'm obviously bingoing here. Many things to the S and Measlier for 78. Many things to outcomes. Wow, another bingo. Distaste. I guess I'll just play Lenites. I guess there are, aren't all that many things. There's Lenites, Tensile, Setline, Lee, Sen. Yeah, it's really just Lenites over there. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I got the other blank, though. Wow, so I still have some chances here, guys. Joey has gotten three natural bingos, but I'm still definitely in this game. I'll play... Jaw somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I have a jaw on the top right for over 40 points if that stays open, which it does. That's a nice play of Tibia to clear out his rack. So yeah, I'll play Jaw, and I'm going to be bingoing again here. So at least I think. Uh, am I bingoing again? Hold on. Yeah, I mean, I have Enuritic or something. It's not going to score much. Probably have to bingo because I can't really score much if I don't. So yeah. Uh, is there nothing else? Inquire? Maybe something through this T is just a little bit safer. Pre-Unite. Yeah, I think pre-Unite, it ties the game. I don't think I want to play Enuritic and can just give him an easy score. How about on the D column? There's nothing there, really? I feel like I'm missing something. Reunite, Red New, Uterine. Those don't fit. Neurine doesn't fit. Inquire doesn't fit. Yeah, maybe there's just nothing. Okay, yeah, let's just play pre-Unite. It's only 59, which is obviously not great, but still something. I get the X, so I'll have XU if that stays up. Oh, I also have Mirix over here for 47. That's pretty cool. So that's blocked, but XU is still there. So let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, he just played Iron, so he definitely could be close to another bingo. But at least if he bingos on row 7, it won't score much and it'll give me a lot back. I guess he could bingo on row D. That would definitely not be great. But hopefully I can do something there. Maybe with two. All right, he plays Levy. Very close game. Yeah, this one's going to come down to the wire most likely. Uh, maybe I just play Mirth. Pretty low on vowels, this pool. I don't really want to play just HM. No, it doesn't score anything. It keeps a pretty clunky leave. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play Mirth. Hopefully I'll get a good draw. Not terrible. This does give back a scoring spot. If he has the F, I might regret it, but we'll see. Yeah, that might not have been a great play, but I didn't have a ton of options. I mean, I'll have Reef or Neef for like 40 plus if that stays open. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about this Z. Like, I was actually pretty close to like Spritz or something. Maybe I should have tried to go for that. I don't know. Okay, he plays Glenn. What do I want to do? Very tough position. Seven in the bag. Down eight. Uh, I don't want to get rid of this E. It's the last E in the game. So it feels very valuable. I don't really have much above Glenn. Uh, Fibrin. That looks good, actually. Yeah, keeping pen. Ah, dang it. I got the Q. That's... Definitely not good. Maybe I should have played fewer tiles to try to avoid the Q, actually. I wonder if I should have. Yeah, because now I have to get rid of it. And he should be able to win this, I think. I mean, it might not be super straightforward, but I would think if he just plays, like, Vaunt or something. <laughs> Vaunt, yet yeah, again, setting up a Vaunt and Ross. I think that's enough. Because, although, wait, maybe I, I can score pretty well here, though. I mean, Fob is 30. Eh... This might not be as straightforward as it looks, guys. He plays Van, keeping Sura. Okay. Uh, F, E, nothing there. 
Um, I mean, he's going out. He has, like, Urias. Oven is not enough. Um, ugh. F.E.? I don't think this is enough either. No, it's it's not going to do it, I don't think. I, I can't find anything better, though. Yeah, I think he should be winning pretty comfortably with, um, like, Varus or something. Yeah. How I didn't miss something there, but I don't think so. Yeah, Varus comes down. He wins by nine. Very good game. Um, well played by Joey there. Yeah, that was a very good game. Let's see what we might have missed. Yeah, it was uh, quite a exciting start for both of us. A lot of bingos early on. And let's see. Um, oh, I blocked some bingos near the end, so we'll get to that. Yeah, we both already have five bingos combined after the first, like, eight turns. So, very exciting start, like I said. Yeah, I saw Enuretic, but for only two more points, I figured I'd just play Pre-Unite and give a little bit less back. Well, I missed something here. Oh, Oxid. Oxid. Yeah, I forgot about Oxid. That would have probably been a little bit better, especially at this point. Yeah, because look, 9 vowels, 20 consonants. Definitely better to get rid of an extra consonant. So that's a sizable mistake by me there, not seeing Mux. I do give back some plays on the triple, but I think it still has to be better. Oh, yeah, maybe just HM here. Actually, I didn't see I didn't see HM over there. I only saw it above outcomes. I forgot about this spot. Yeah, Mirth was not a good play. It just gives back too much counterplay on the left. So not my best there. Yeah, probably Fab to keep a better leave and not open all that up. And also reduce my chances of getting the... The Q. So yeah, maybe not my best end game or pre end game really. I should say end game looks fine here. Yeah, doer is not any better. I don't think so. Okay, yeah, maybe a couple turns I could have done better, but overall I think I played pretty well. We both did very good game. Well played to Joey. Uh, much needed win for him. Three one me now and wow, clunky looking rack to start. If I get an I, I have shootists. If I don't get an I, I've got uh, a whole lot of nothing. So we'll see. I'm just waiting to see what he does. And oof, that's a bad outcome. You see, bingos and doesn't give me the tile I need. So yeah, that's not good. Uh, I think I'll play Kushat to set up another S hook. Clear off my rack a little bit. Okay, this looks reasonable, but is there a bingo here? I actually don't think so, because Telemon doesn't take an S. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's nothing here, right? There's definitely no 8 through the E. Maybe now there's a 9 or something? I don't think so. Feels like there should be a bingo here for sure, but I don't... If there is one, I'm not seeing it. So, all right, let's just play Mola. Open, so you just want to keep this as open as possible, keep scoring, keep keeping good leaves. Unfortunately... That was not what I wanted. Only one vowel now. Yeah, I feel like I might have missed something on that turn, but again, if if there was something, I'm just not seeing it. He plays Fatigue. I still don't have a bingo, I don't think, unfortunately. So maybe Tong somewhere? Could just play God. Keeps four consonants, which isn't ideal. Ton doesn't get rid of the G. Not a lot of great options. I don't really see anywhere good for a Trogi. I think I will just play God. There's enough floating vowels. I think I have a decent chance to bingo. Yeah, still probably not going to cut it because Lustrine and Sulter don't fit. Rustling, Lustrine don't fit. Yeah, just not quite getting good enough racks here. Dang. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to play, I think I'm going to play Curl and try to force the issue here and really open it up. I think that's probably fine. There's a Y left, but it's unlikely it'll happen. Okay, so now I imagine something's going to play somewhere, right? I mean, Intasia Tiny is on the rack. Uh, wait a minute. Why are they going to play? Okay, Intasia's and Kushats at the minimum. Nothing plays with Curls. All right, he bingos again. Does nothing else play? I guess I can play Tanias here now. It's probably a little better. Yeah, I think this is probably best. Wow, it feels like I should have had something better, but I'm not seeing it if it was there. 
Okay, so now I'll at least be able to do this. That I mean, that has to be correct, right? I can't imagine. There's I don't see anything through the L and curl. Like lexica doesn't hit the double word. Yeah, this looks fine. All right, I'm down. I'm down 34. It's not a huge deficit, but he bingo's back with aliens, so not looking great. Do I have anything on the bottom left? Uh, no, I don't think so. I need to end in an M, which isn't going to be easy. I think I'm going to just play Vim. Hope I can maybe get a bingo, which I'm not going to get here. I'll have two on the right, T-E-W, if that stays open. He's probably going to go there, though. Yeah, he does. I'll play, I'll play Bra. That actually scores well. That's 41. And now I have four E's. Yikes. Almost evict E, but not quite. This is definitely not looking good now. Yeah, I just didn't uh, didn't quite get a bingo as quickly as I needed to. I kept being very close, but just couldn't couldn't quite make it happen. And yeah, now the problem is there's just really nowhere to go. Uh, yeah, I mean I'm down a hundred. Joey's done a very good job at keeping this board shut. So there's yeah, there's just almost nowhere to go here, guys. I don't even know how to open this board up. I think I'll just play peeved maybe to try to get rid of some of these E's. It's probably a terrible play because it blocks Ed's. Yeah, he just plays Zoo. There, there's nothing to be done here. I mean, I'm just completely lost at this point, I imagine. Yeah, I don't even know. I'll play I'll play with Zoo, maybe to try to open up a little bit. But I, I even if I bingo, the problem is it's just not going to be enough points, right? Because, I mean, I'm down over 100. So, yeah. All right. Uh, I don't think I have anything great here. I'll just play one set and throw in the towel. Yeah, there just wasn't uh, wasn't really all that much to be done. So, all right, GG. This one is going to be uh, another win for Joey. So it'll be 3-2 now in the series in my favor. So he is slowly but steadily inching his way back. And as often happens, sometimes with these blitz games, you know, people get on streaks, and you often do see a lot of back and forth. So it's certainly nothing out of the ordinary but yeah this was a tough game for me let's see i hope i didn't miss a bingo or anything earlier i don't think so this maybe is a little better but i think i like kush I have to set up another s hook Ooh, end playing i wouldn't have been sure that was good actually as a as a verb but uh, yeah and, uh, joey is the says the same thing here yeah i probably would have tried it but i definitely would not have been sure of it yeah no bingos here Guess I could have just played strong. You kind of hate blowing up the rack, though, when you're down to bingo. Same goes here. I guess insult is a little higher on equity, but I think curl is fine. Um, ooh, gambled for 98. Tricky one to see here for Joey, but that would have been a little bit better. There's also codable or deadbolt. Uh, codable, probably not a good play because of how much it gives back. But yeah, gambled or deadbolt, I think, would have been a little bit better. Um, oh, I missed exec. Eh, I don't know. I think Axe is fine. I mean, this takes an H, an S, an O. Seems a little bit too risky. I didn't see Siba here. Oh, I forgot about Ba. Yeah, I only saw uh, Bam. Okay, maybe Siba is a little better, but it's going to be a pretty tough game for me to win at that point. So yeah, well played by Joey there. It is now 3-2, so game six about to start. And here we go. All right, very good start from me here. I'm just going to go ahead and play Praetors to start this off. And no vowels on my second draw, but... Can't really complain after an easy opening bingo, so we will see how this one proceeds. I guess I'll just play like Fang or Flan or something. Well, not anymore. He plays quite... Oh, maybe Length. Yeah, that looks good. It gets rid of five consonants. I don't think I have anything great through the AR, so yeah, let's just do that. And all right, at least I have a slightly more balanced rack, although still a fairly clunky one. F-I-I-W-Z, all kind of tough to work with together. Probably just going to play Zig to the G in length. He plays Faye in lengthy. Yeah, I don't think that really changes. Oh, actually, I have Hafiz. So that's got to be better. Yeah, that's 40. That's more points. Way better because it gets rid of my F as well. And I draw some more I's as well as a UW. So another pretty tough draw here. But hopefully I'll at least have somewhere to play maybe Unwit. Yeah, I can play Unwit to the T in Lengthy. It's not great. I mean, it's 16 points. It keeps T-I-X. It's okay. It's certainly not amazing. But we'll see what he gives us to work with. I'm up a bit. I'm up 67. And, okay, he plays Calumet with 
both blanks. So it takes a bit of a lead, not a huge lead. Unfortunately, I just don't really have much I can do. I guess I'll play unside to block that spot, at least. That's probably reasonable. Yeah, I think I like that. Let's play there. Yeah, just really struggling to get any vowels now other than U's and I's, it seems, ever since my opening bingo. But it's still pretty early, so we'll see what else we can make happen. Yeah, I, I still don't have a hook to et. That's the problem. And I just don't have a lot of good plays here. Okay, that's actually a pretty good outcome for me. He uses this puppy, he only gets 20 points, which is not a lot at all. So I'm actually pretty happy to see that, because now I don't have to worry about that spot anymore. Do I have anything through this AR? Not really. I still can't play the X both ways next to Hafiz. Yeah, I have, like, nothing here. Maybe twin? That's actually not terrible. Let's try that. All right, at least I got an E now, so now I can play X for some points. It would keep five vowels, but now it's blocked. I could play X on. Yeah, I probably should play X on. Oozed and Dex. Eh, X on probably slightly better, especially to set up the S that I have. Yeah, let's play X on. Almost Durndles, but have an A instead. So yeah, still with just one vowel, but at least I have an S now. So I can play Oozed and, well, whatever I play there is going to give back a lot. So I'm not sure. Oh, I can play to Oozed, though. I can play, like, uh, I guess Rand for 29. That looks like a good play. And he, well, he doesn't actually block it, because Booze, of course, still takes a D. So it was an R, but I don't think that really changes much. Yeah, I think I'm still going to play Rand over here. 32 points looks pretty good. Man, still just one vowel. I feel like I haven't had a rack with more than one vowel in a long time. But all, all things considered, given that, I'm doing pretty well. I'm still in the lead. And, yeah, that's a pretty defensive play, which is probably good for me, given I'm in the lead. I think I'll just play love, improve my rack, kind of stall, force him to open it up, and then hopefully I'll have a better leave. Wow, still just one vowel. Ah, crazy. I mean, he, and he hasn't even been playing all that many vowels. Yeah, I guess the pool is slightly vowel heavy now. 19 vowels, 17 consonants. But still, I mean, this is like five or six turns in a row now where I've had one vowel on my rack. I just can't get a second vowel. But yeah, we'll see how this proceeds. I mean, this is not a terrible rack. Like, also, if I get a Y somehow, which I'm not going to get because there's none left, I would have hydrants. Joey taking some time here. He's down to just over 30 seconds. So I have a time advantage, which I'll try to use to my benefit. Wow, genius. Interesting. I think I'm going to play hand. This is very defensive. Hand or thread? I think hand. There's no ends left, so he's not going to bingo to that G. Because he, he's not going to have I-N-G with no ends left. And Ed doesn't take an S. Yeah, this is very defensive. I feel like... I mean, I'm up a lot. Ooh, okay, that's an annoying play because of oil or oik. But I think I can block it with something like... Oh, I can play divey. Yeah, that blocks it very effectively. Okay, yeah, let's definitely do that just to take out that spot. And I've drawn rulers. I still feel pretty confident as long as Joey doesn't bingo. I'll hold on. I'm up 57 points. There are some good scoring tiles left, but there aren't any, like, huge scoring spots. He plays Eve. Uh, Wooler's doesn't fit. So what do I want to do? Just row? It's got to be... I mean, I could play worse as well. Uh, something with Aus... Louser isn't good. I guess... I guess I'll just play row. I think it's fine. Try to keep as much flexibility as I can. Yeah, again, the thing is, I really don't have to worry about this G, because with no ends, he's not going to bingo to the... G. All right, now I'll just play Colo. I don't really care about emptying the bag. I mean, he's not going to... Unless there's a 9. Maybe I should have been a little bit worried about 9s, but... Um, a Sternal. I don't think I have any bingos. I'll just play Startler, because it's kind of cool. And yeah, he can go out with Sire, but he doesn't have enough time. Yeah, interesting game there. I mean, he got that double blank bingo, and it felt like I had some terrible wrecks, but I just I managed to still kind of do okay with them. And, yeah, because after this, right, I had... Ooh, unfix. I didn't see that. Dang. Yeah, that's this was a terrible play. This is one of my worst plays of the session so far. Yeah, no, I just completely missed unfix. Got way, way too fixated on the C, which, I mean, it's it's a dangerous spot, but it's not that dangerous because there are no twos with a C. He'd need, like, 
either some sort of triple triple, which isn't that likely with both blanks gone, or like Jack or something to really cause damage. Yeah, Unfix way better to set up the T. That's a great play. Even Twix is just way better. Yeah, I just completely tanked here on this play, and I missed Twix again. Yeah, I just and Dixit. Yeah, terrible, terrible stuff here. I mean, just getting way too fixated on holding the X. I mean, yeah, terrible play. Joey has garbage here, thankfully for, for me. He plays booze for, or he just plays ooze. Yeah, probably better to try to hold on to the B, at least for a constant. I mean, I guess X is fine. I like that Exxon sort of forces you to have an S to really do anything great in that position. So I think that's okay. Ooh, Ebb is a bit of a strange looking play. I feel like Object's probably a little bit better for him. So yeah, I think we both had a little bit of a, uh, hard time dealing with uh with the high point tiles i yeah i definitely uh did, didn't play well early in the game um either but yeah like like joey said just not a lot of great options here but i think we both probably had some yeah genius i'm not sure i mean he guess he, do, he does need to open a little bit and i was fortunate to have a really good block yeah poi was oh he didn't even have a k or an l with poi wow yeah interesting i guess he just sort of figured he needed to take a chance so yeah i don't know not the most uh exciting game necessarily but um, at least I, uh, I got the job done despite playing some not great moves early on. All right, give me an L for Alienese. That would be very, very helpful because otherwise I'm probably scoring like five. Well, or maybe I'm trading because I can score more than five, but I'm not going to play in. I'm not going to play E's. Yeah, I'm going to trade three, keep E, I, N, S. Normally I might keep the A, but with Q, I there as an underlap, I think, well, I guess I should have kept the A. <laughs> Dang it. And this is why, guys, you keep A's instead of I's normally when you trade. Because when they get duplicated, they're not so bad. When you have duplicate I's, especially triplicate, they are really, really bad. So let this be a reminder for why it's usually better to keep A's instead of I's. Now I have to trade two again. Because, I mean, there's just nothing else to really do, right? I mean, I guess, unless I want to just blow it up with Iris, maybe I should. Yeah, you know, I just I hate trading twice to start things off. I think I'm going to do that. I don't want to like, fall into such a big deficit that even if I bingo, I'm not winning. So, yeah, let's just play Iris. I probably should trade, too, but is that good, Gabbily? Is that good? Huh, I can't remember. I don't know. I think it is. I can't remember for sure. I'm going to play Ketane. Yeah, it's possible that that's a phony. can't remember for sure. It looks kind of funny, but there's a lot of I L Y words that are that are words that look pretty funny, and I feel like it sounds at least vaguely familiar enough that I'm gonna let it go. Fortunate there to get a nice spot for facts, and all right, what am I? I'm up a little bit, not a ton, but always obviously better to be up than not up if you have to choose. And I guess I'll play Alto on top. Well, probably not anymore. He bingos with Routine. Don't really have anything great. I think I'll just play Tolt, take out this spot. I don't have any bingos. And, oh, I'm not down much. I'm only down 16. I draw well here. I feel like I should be bingoing somewhere. Sorehead with an E. No E's. Uh... Huh, anything through this N-O or this E-L? T? I don't think so. I-T maybe? Wow. The T here too in Ketane. Is there nothing? Gosh, it feels like there's something here. But I, if there is, I'm missing it. Huh, okay. Well, I guess I will play Pod. Scores pretty well. Still keeps a good lead. I hope I didn't miss something there. Oof, Tractate. Wow. Three Ts. That is good, though. So that's a big one for him to get down. Yeah, I'll just play Za here. Stay in this game as much as I can. I hate blocking, but... Well, I got the blank. So that helps. I'll definitely bingo here with something. But not sure with what. Yeah, he plays Venoms. That's a good play. I guess I'll just have to bingo through this T... Any crazy nines through this HIT? Almost like arrow fights or something. I feel like I there's probably something, but I don't see it. I think I need to keep the board more open, though, because I'm still down. I'm going to play Sorose over here. Ooh, uproused. Wow. Please stay open through this S. 
It probably will. It'll probably play through this through the E. Bam. Okay. So now it's even. Um, oddments doesn't fit. Um, okay. This is a pretty good draw. Wow, do I have a chance here all of a sudden? It's been a crazy game. I mean, it's an even game and it's his turn. It feels like he should still have the advantage, but this pool is not great. And I have a pretty good rack. So, I mean, I can play like Mod or Dom or something on the top right. We'll have to see how many he leaves in the bag, too. There's only eight. Or, yeah, so there's three in the bag. I probably don't want to empty this. Uh, hmm. Wow, this pool is clunky, though. I, I, U, W, W? Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. I think... Shoot, I'm down to 20 seconds. I don't really want to empty the... Actually, I think I will... Um, I don't think I want to empty the bag, do I? Not really, but I think I'm going to. I'm going to play mode. And, yeah, I feel like he's probably winning if he just plays Hugh. Because the problem is I can't score enough, I don't think, with only one vowel. Yeah, I have no idea what I was supposed to do there. I just was running out of time, too, unfortunately. Yeah, if he plays Hugh, it's probably enough. I, I maybe should have just blocked that spot with something. I have no idea, honestly. No idea. I just don't have enough vowels. That's the problem. I, I just don't think I have enough vowels. I mean, I can play like row or something. See, so yeah, if he plays hue, how how do I get enough points? So he plays. Oh, he goes with wind. Oh, saving you. Oh, it's smart. He's saving Uderai and Uriac. Yeah. Okay. I can't do anything about that. Okay. Yeah. Very good end game by Joey. Not uh, not nearly anything. Oh, dang it. Gabbly is not good yet. Yeah, I should have challenged. I I had a feeling it wasn't good. It just it looked funny to me. I just I always I always mess up those ILY words and for some reason I just I don't know. I couldn't quite pull the trigger on it. But yeah, that's obviously a a, a huge swing there if I challenge this off and I still managed to bingo and he's he's stuck with all of that uh, garbage. Yeah, it, it looked really funny to me, but Ah, I almost challenged. Well, that's obviously the game right there. I mean, Toro is a little bit better probably to keep two consonants and a vowel instead of two vowels and a consonant. But yeah, no, other than that, I mean, it looks like I, I played mostly the top play every time. Uh, oh, Emand. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I didn't see that in the, uh, in the end game. I mean, I was getting a little bit low on time, but yeah, still not my, uh, not my best effort here, unfortunately. But, yeah, I can't really say I, uh, I deserve to win that one, and uh, I didn't. So, all right, three to four now. So Joey gets a little bit closer, and, uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting finish as it always is. So, so yeah, now uh, four up to four games left. Joey's going to need to win three out of the last four. I'll play Yower here to get rid of some vowels. And let's see, I feel like I should have some bingos. Yeah, I have red lined at the minimum, deadline through the A. I think deadline looks like the way to go. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't think I have anything else. All right, that's another pretty good draw. Frailist is available through the E, airlifts through the I, fistular through the U. It's theoretically possible for all of those to be blocked, but it's unlikely. Yeah, frailist is still open, so let's go ahead and play that. Eulachon with an L. There is no L. Nothing else, I don't think. And all right, he gets down jeers for a lot. So I'm up, but I'm not up a huge amount. I guess I can just play FOH here. Don't really like etch. The leave is not particularly good. Yeah, let's just do... Actually, you know what? Let's do this. The leaf is so much stronger. It's nine less points, but it just gives me so much better potential on my next turn. I think it's actually worth it. It's a bit of a questionable decision, but I think it's the right play. All right, he plays awarded, so he takes the lead. And yeah, I guess I should have played FOH. I would have had Nucleate, but obviously can't know that going in. And what do I want to do here? Uh, huh. Yeah, ethnical chat line don't fit. 
feel like I should have something good through this E, but I'm not really seeing it. I think I'll just play this to try to bingo next turn, hopefully. Yeah, not a very good draw. That's the problem with AENT. It's like if it's a good bingo leave, but when you don't bingo, you're often with a rack that just doesn't score very well. Yeah, I feel like that was not a great play. I just didn't really see anything much better. And wow, another nice find by Joey there. Kidnap E. So he gets another bingo down. And what do I want to do here? Um, Tofu doesn't really play. I don't have all that much. I mean, I could play FUD. It doesn't really open anything. I mean, at least I have ATE lying on the bottom under Kidnap E, so that helps. I, I don't know. I don't see anything much better, so let's try that. At least I keep the H open on the right to maybe distract him. But I'm going to definitely need to make something happen quickly here, because I am down quite a bit. Yeah, I'll probably try to play, like, Vote or Nove on the left now. Wow, he just plays Fab? Interesting. There's no S's left either. Yeah, I didn't even realize that there's no S's left. Yikes. Um, I guess I'll play... I think I'm going to just try to score with... Eh, maybe Haven to keep an E. I guess... Yeah, actually, I guess I'll play Heaven. And maybe I can still outscore him. I mean, I don't know what he's exactly doing with Fab. Oh, I guess he's maybe blocking the X spot. He plays Print. All right. I mean... Do I, I maybe have some chances of winning without a bingo here? We'll see. It's going to be tough, though, because now I'm out of scoring tiles. Ah! Dang it. Yeah, he bingos again with a latching. So, yeah, now it's going to be pretty, pretty tough, I imagine. Uh, I mean, because he's going to just probably play through that L on the next turn. I guess I'll just play Goo. Yeah, just not not getting the bingo tiles I need here, unfortunately. And he's he's going to just play through that L and probably not going to have all that much uh, much left I can do after that. Yeah, I don't know where I exactly went wrong in this one, guys. I don't know. It didn't feel like I was... I felt like I was doing very well, and then he just uh, got several back-to-back -back bingos and ended up with a, a big lead. Because, like, I, I had bingoed twice, and I felt like I was doing... Doing well, and then, yes, yeah, somehow, even though he bingoed the same number of times, he ended up with a, with a big lead. But it happens. And, yeah, I was sort of hoping here to draw some sort of big bingo from the B, but that's not going to happen. I don't have all that much here. I mean, I can play trues from this T. It's not going to be nearly enough. So it looks like, barring something crazy, he's going to get this one here. Yeah, I mean, there's not really even anything I can fish for, I don't think. Like, if, if he decides to say not empty the bag and play one off, I just don't even know what I can fish for, because I can't even play off the Z as it currently stands alone on this board. Maybe if he phonies and I can play off, like, Z-O or something, I'd have a chance. Nah, okay, he just plays Ma. Yeah, I'll play Trues over here. This one is, uh, this one is done for. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do. So it is going to be 4-4, four, four, guys, after this game. We are once again coming down to the wire, as Joey and I so often do. So, yeah, we'll see. Is this one going to be decided in 10 or decided in 11? Those are the only two possibilities at this point. And we will just have to see which one of those uh, it is. And, all right, I'll play... Net and go out. So yeah, another good game here. He wins 459 to 405. Let's see here what might have been missed. Oh, I missed in Gilded. Shoot. Yeah, I just didn't uh, didn't come up with it at all through the G, unfortunately. So yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty big miss. Six more points and a lot safer positionally. So yeah, sloppy on my part there. Just didn't didn't come up with that A. Probably Chalet is better. I mean, A and T is a nice leave, but. I think blocking the bottom would have been a little bit better. And yeah, as it turns out, he probably wouldn't have been able to bingo. I guess he could have still played speaking to that G. And at this point, I just sort of was lost for ideas. Maybe foo, but it's a, it's a pretty tough position. Yeah, after latching, I mean, there's really not much else to be done. Yeah, this is maybe a better effort to try to open another line. The problem is if he plays either from the L or to that G, he can just block both at the same time, so I don't really think it would have mattered. But yeah, I should have seen in Gilded early on. That was sloppy. Otherwise, I think it was a reasonable game. 
But alrighty, guys, 4-4 four, four now. And several possible eights I can get here. And he bingos to start, but I have immersion through this R. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh, there's nominees. Yeah, nominees is probably a little safer, actually. Let's go ahead and take that. And a dreadful, dreadful draw here. Yikes. I might even have to trade. Yeah, this is horrible. FPTTUV? Yeah, I mean, I have very, very little to work with on this rack here. We'll have to see what he does, but I could certainly see an exchange potentially being in order. Okay, he just plays Jar. I guess Poof is worth it, keeping VNTT. I mean, it's 18 points. It's probably enough to be reasonable. I mean, I hate that lead, but at least I also block a little bit. Yeah, I think that's fine. Wow, that's actually a good draw. I mean, I have Visitant or Nativist through that S if, if it stays open, which is not likely, but it's possible. Definitely don't anticipate it staying open, but either way, at least I got some vowels and I'll have some flexibility. Wow, they do stay open, I guess. See, they both give back big S hooks. Visitant to the... I think I'm going to play Nativist. because It's a little bit harder for him to bingo with that S hook there. And if he scores 40, that's okay. All right, that's a very good draw, obviously, for me. I should be able to bingo, even though I have the Z, because the rest of my rack is so good. Or pos... Ooh. Oh, boy. That is GG right there. Wow. Um, geez. Okay. <laughs> well, sometimes these things happen, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just obviously absurdly, obscenely lucky. But, you know, it's... Uh, it's part of the game. Not Not to say that Joey did anything wrong whatsoever, but, I mean, what are the odds that after... Bingoing, I'm going to draw a 203 point triple triple with the Z in the blank. Like, yeah, that's a pretty, pretty bad break for him. O gives me Geotaxis here, but at this point, it's a, it's a formality. I mean, the, this game is over for sure. I would have played, uh, an X play there for like 60 if that stayed open, actually. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let's just move this one along. I mean, we don't really care about spread here. And, uh, I mean, there's just no, no way whatsoever I'd lose this game. I guess I could just, eh, I guess I'll just cash in with XIS here, maybe. That seems fine. Let's just do that. And let's see. Glabrate doesn't fit. I guess I'll just play a bait or something with Axis. We'll see. Yeah, that was just, uh, obscenely lucky though. Energize. That's, that's just ridiculous. Yeah. All right. Let's just play a bait. I don't think I had any bingos to that E. Almost absturge or abnegate, but not quite. Anything here? Organelle is a nine. That doesn't quite work. Allergen doesn't quite work either. So probably nothing. He gets down footages. Yeah, I'm still up over 200 after that, which is just uh, just wild. Now, yeah, that's what happens with triple triples, especially ones that score. As much as uh, as that one did, I mean, you just score so many points, it's pretty much impossible to come back from. I have bear-like now. As another bingo through that E, if it stays open, but we will see. I don't think I have anything else that plays. There's bulkier, but it's not going to go down, so I'll just play bear-like. And, wow, close to another bingo here. Almost like includes or nuclides. Uh, I don't think there's a 7. That would give me almost 700 if there was a 7, but I don't think there is. So let's just play dunces. Let's move this one along. Yeah, I mean, like I said, that might not be my best end game, but, um, you know, it's just, uh, this is a moot point. Let's, uh, let's get the next game going here. I don't really care whether I win by 240 or 260, so... Doesn't uh, doesn't really matter. I don't have a ton of great spots to go out with this L. I guess I'll just play like L or L for four. I don't really see anything worth more than that. I don't think Joey can go out. Can he with... Yeah, I don't think he can. All right, let's just play L. Yeah, this one was... Uh, I mean, like I said, after... Uh, <laughs> After Energize, there just wasn't really anything to even discuss. I mean, yeah, there's Immersion as well, but I figured uh, putting the E there was a little bit more dangerous than 
over here. It's close, though. I mean, either way is uh, going to give back a bit. This is an option. FV is so bad together, though. I think poof is fine. It's certainly, I mean, this worked out literally as well as possible. I mean, at, at this point, like, there's just not even much of a point to analyze the rest of the game. Oh, I miss Souk. But, yeah, I mean, equip is fine. It keeps the S. Uh, oh, now I missed Ixia as yeah. I think at this point I just sort of mentally checked out because, like I said, I mean, the the outcome of the game was was decided. Uh, oh, and roll is a nice play here for 34. Yeah, but like, like I said, I mean, it doesn't really matter. At this point, I certainly knew I was going to win. El High is a cool out there for 7, but yeah. Um, all right, like I said, let's uh, get the next one going here. I'm up 5-4, so Joey needs to win two in a row here. But let's see. I'll play Verl, set up the S. Not a good draw. Still just one vowel. Well, I shouldn't say still just one vowel. I had two vowels before, but still only eyes for my vowels, I guess I should say. So we'll see what he does. I'll probably play like wings or wigs, maybe swig there. He plays berg. Yeah, I think I should spend the S. Just my options without spending the S are so much worse. So I think I will play swing. And, all right, a bit of a clunky draw here as well. I have the very bizarre-looking word of NUDZ, N-U-D-Z-H, which I will play from this N and swing if it stays open, which it does. So, yeah, that's got to be best by a lot. 44 points, clears up my rack pretty well. And what do I have here now? Um, no, Pro Bind is not good. It's Pro Band. And I have a bit of a lead already. I'm up 63 points. And Oxide. Oxhide, I should say. That's a nice play. 51. Anything to this Z? Biz doesn't work. I guess I'll play Prob. Yeah, it's actually not that risky because the PR is tough to overlap. Very, very good. Ooh, Juvie. That's a lot of points. Okay. Well, I'll bingo at least, though. Uh, there's got to be something here, right? Redenize, Nereides, Redenize, uh, Redefine. Anything that doesn't double the blank, though? I feel like there's got to be. Is it worth spending that much time, though, to find it? Probably not. Let's just do that. Wow, the other blank. Very fortunate. And do I have a bingo here? I feel like I, I probably do, but... Like almost back allow or something. Wow. Almost Kalamata. <laughs> that would be insane. Kalamata with four A's. Or like Kava Kava. I feel like I'm probably just so close to a lot of absolutely insane bingos here that I feel like I have one. I probably don't, though. I guess I'll play Koalas somewhere, but I don't know where. Maybe, maybe just Oka. Yeah, Oka seems fine. All right, now there has to be something, right? I mean, something on the bottom? Maybe even a nine? Oh, man, vanillas. There, there absolutely has to be something. A, B, C, yeah, Aliax, Alkalize. Come on, why am I not seeing it? I don't want to spend too much time. Salsilla or Shalala, not quite. Oh, man. I'll spend a couple more seconds. Labials doesn't fit either. All right, I don't know. I, I'm not seeing it. So let's, uh, I don't even know what I'm going to do then. Wow, I can't believe I can't find anything. All right, let's just play lab to make sure I bingo on my next turn. I'm, I'm sure I missed something. I, I just couldn't find it. I'll have Larrykins as a 9 now on my next turn, or Larrigans. Larrigans probably slightly better. I'm, I probably missed, like, four bingos on my next turn, or my last turn there. Um, actually, you know what? I'll play Larrykins. It's a little bit more defensive. It doesn't get back a double-double. And after all that, I just drew Tonsur. Yeah, that's just obscenely lucky, guys. Like, I mean, with a pool with all that garbage in there to draw Tonsur tenors out of the bag is just, it's hard to describe how lucky that is. This game is not over, though. I mean, I just drew six vowels, and there's several big bingo lines open under Filmy and through this F. Filmy was a very good play by Joey to score and open two big lines. Like I said, this game 
Not over yet. Definitely not over. I'll probably play AA at least to take out one of those lines. Yeah, I think I got to. Um, I mean, I hate keeping all those vowels, but I think I got to take that out. It's definitely more dangerous than the F. And wow, still six vowels for me, unfortunately. I mean, he can bingo with like lave or labs. I'll probably try to block that over the F. I mean, it's there's nothing that goes in front of yeah. There's no P's or R's. If I can stop him from bingoing, I should win. He plays knit. Huh. Okay. Um, maybe just... I don't even know here. Um, oh, I'm down to 10 seconds. Shoot. Um, all right, let's just play something. I don't know. I got to hurry up. I don't have enough time. Oh, there's this S on the bottom, too. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I don't have enough time here. Um, I'm probably not playing this particularly well, but I'll play C on my next turn. C-E-E, -E, the block there, and hope he, just hope he can't bingo out elsewhere. I hope I don't flag. If he blocks, or if he goes over there, I'll just play like so. Okay, let's do that. Ooh, I didn't even realize on the top what, I, what he just opened. Um, all right, let's just do this. Um, okay. Oh, I just cut it off barely. Wow, and I'm lucky that... Oof! Wow, yeah, I'm very lucky that uh, Aw still played. That was, uh, wow. Yeah, that was um, intense at the end. I am sure I did not play that anywhere near optimally, but let's see. Oh, did he miss tenfolds? Um, or or maybe I blocked it? Let's let's see. Um, oh, bipod, I think prob is fine. Yeah, that was a pretty worst case scenario with Juvie. Oh, I didn't, uh, where's, oh, Swinge! I completely forgot about sin Swinge. Wow, yeah, re-denied there. That's probably worth it for 12 more points. Yeah, I just literally completely forgot about Swinge. Okay, here there was nothing. There was nothing here! Wow! There was nothing? That's amazing. And then, yeah, Larrigans. I liked Larrikins just to not give back the R in the double-double line. I think that's fine. And then, yeah, here I started to just panic. I think AA is fine. And then, yeah, here... Oh, so here he had tenfolds. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I, I felt like I had to, after a knit, I knew he had the S. I felt like I had to block that. So yeah, I think Tafia was reasonable. I probably should have played Foe or something that doesn't open the T. And yeah, here, I should probably block Neatest on the top. I don't even know. I guess blocking Fadden's is also fine. I, I just, I had no time. I had to just sort of hope he missed everything. And um, yeah, I guess Agents is not enough. So he might as well try to get me to flag, which I almost, yeah, I definitely did not see Toya's down here. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Very, very sloppy game here at the end, but got it done. And yeah, it was a, a bit of a sloppy series overall, I felt like, on, on my part. Definitely a few careless mistakes. No, like, massive mistakes. I guess not challenging Gabbily in the earlier game is probably my biggest mistake. But, you know, some good plays, some not so good plays. That happens when you're playing 11 games of Blitz against another top player, obviously. But it was fun. Uh, thanks, as always, to Joey for... Uh, for playing. Always a pleasure. And yeah, so I think that's it for this one, guys. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed and uh, maybe learned some new words. And until the next one, uh, thanks for watching again, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.